Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love and we are here in Walmart. I'm gonna show you my top 10 snacks that are low carb. Now, I don't know if you guys consider cereal a snack, but guys, it is definitely a snack to me. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am a cereal fanatic. Now, here at Walmart, they actually have a pretty solid cereal selection. I was like, okay, Walmart, get it. This is one of my favorites here. I've actually only seen this online. This is the dark, um, dark chocolate cereal. They remind me of like the top part of the Oreo cookies, not the filling, just the little Oreo part. Super, super crunchy. I love to just kind of dip them into peanut butter. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but what I do is I'll grab a spoon, dip it in peanut butter, and then just kind of like stick it into the bag. And then it's like peanut butter with a bunch of um, little chocolate cookies. Love it, super clean. Um, this is 11 grams of protein. I love when I find snacks that are clean and actually have that protein in it because you guys know me. I'm like, I always try to lead with protein, but this is um, vegan, it's plant-based, no sugar alcohols, 11 grams of protein, low in carbs. I'm like, okay, yes. So this one here only has one gram of sugar. You have the one from Ratio. Ooh, the maple almond crunch. So anyway, the point is that if you guys do like cereal and you consider it a snack like me, then they do have a, a really good selection here. Now, granola is a great snack. I don't know about you guys, but I have always loved granola because it's so crunchy. Now, this is obviously a low carb version, two net carbs. It's gluten-free, grain-free, non-GMO. Actually has four grams of protein. Now, what I love about granola is that you can have it with cereal and it's kind of like a cereal. You can top your yogurt, your cottage cheese, anything like that that you want that crunch and actual um, sweetness because this is like blueberry cinnamon. They also have the chocolate or you can even just eat it out of the bag. <laughs> so if you're you know, wanting like a crunchy little snack, granola is a great little snack, guys. I love it. Now, I don't know if there's anything more snacky than a protein bar or like a snack bar. Now, I was looking through all of these because I was like, wait, does Walmart even carry anything that's like low carb? Now, these down here are not clean per se because, um, you know, they are gonna have some some ingredients in there that are not the cleanest, but you have an option. So this one here is strawberries and cream. And then you have these here that are the uh, chewy protein caramel nut. So I feel like for those of you that are just looking for a low carb option, you're like, Myra, I just want something that tastes good and that's low carb. So just know that <laughs> you guys do have, these are the protein one. You know what's cool about these is that these have, let me see. These have 10 grams of protein for one little bar. 10 grams of protein, 90 calories. I wish more companies were making things like this with clean ingredients because I love strawberries and cream. But if I have something like this, it'll probably mess, mess with my stomach. This has six net carbs and this one has five net carbs. So in terms of a little bar, you know, five carbs, and then you're having the 10 grams of protein, I'm like, Okay, if it didn't bother my stomach, I, you know, I'm here for it. And now over here we have Ratio and this one here by Monk Pack. These are cleaner bars. This is more like a Hidden Valley um, bar. This is very crunchy. So if you love like that crunch, because we all have different palettes and some of you might like like a softer bar. These are definitely crunchy. Um, so let's go over the macros just so you see. So this is definitely keto friendly. You have that fat that's gonna keep you satiated. Two net carbs. 12 grams of protein. So that's amazing to get a little bar that's actually, this is more like a little crunch bar um, versus like a protein bar, but it still has 12 grams of protein. So I feel like that's really, really good. And then look at the ingredients. I'm actually pretty impressed with, um, you know, with their ingredients, you can pronounce everything. I know um, some of you that are really, really getting into um, ingredients, natural flavors is a big no-no. Most of the things that you're gonna find out there are gonna have natural flavors for sure. There are a few brands that are getting ahead of the game and that are um, starting to not incorporate natural flavors because there are some hidden things in that, I know. But guys, if you are just making, you know, taking that step in the right direction and you're cutting out inflammatory oils you're cutting out like a lot of just chemicals and stuff like that then you are already in my personal opinion you are headed in the right direction as well so um this one here has one gram of sugar two net carbs this is the one by monk pack you know what these remind me of the kind bars like these here 
this little like um, kind bar. This one, even though it does have only five grams of sugar, if you are really, really, really trying to stay like low carb, you're like, no, I am really trying to stay low carb, then um, this is like a great option. It is three net carbs, only less than one gram of sugar, and it has the same great taste. I love these. These are actually really, really good. These here are more like Paleo, guys, I love these. The week before my cycle where I am having a little bit more carbs, I'm probably going to opt for something like this. This is the chocolate sea salt, love it. We're in my favorite aisle, the chip aisle. Guys, I have like this crazy weakness with chips. They don't have them here, but I love Siete chips just because they're clean, they're fried in avocado oil, um, but they're not low carb. So we're thinking low carb here, guys. This is what we have to work with, okay? We have some queso flavor chicharrones. We have salt and vinegar chicharrones. We have the barbecue pork rinds. So chicharrones are pork rinds, just FYI. Let me see what else we have here because they are now starting to come up with all the flavors. We have salt and pepper. Oh, you miss flaming hot? You miss flaming hot? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> we, have, we even have the spicy red hot. I'm assuming this is kind of like flaming, like flaming Cheeto. Now these here, I actually love them. They're pork rinds, but they have the little meat on them. So it just has more substance to it. I feel like a pork rind, when you eat it, it just kind of goes away. This actually has meat. Um, so this is the original. If you guys find these and you like pork rinds, I'm telling you, these are so good. But um, in terms of chips, um, unfortunately we don't have any here. There are a few options though. There are a few chip options that are low carb, like Quest has some, Hilo chips. I absolutely love those, um, but here they don't. Now, here's the thing. I'm a big popcorn person. I love going to the movies. I love doing movie night at home. Um, these here are all, no. No. Out of the question, out of the question. But I will say that, and some of you might disagree with me. It's okay, it's okay, we can disagree. But guys, when I'm doing movie night, I need popcorn. And we are doing usually like a skinny pop. This is the white cheddar, gluten-free, non-GMO. But look at this serving size. This is where I'm like, what? So 15 carbs minus two fiber. So that leaves you at about 13 for three and a half cups of popcorn for only 150 calories and two, two grams of protein. I know some of you are like, corn, no, Myra, absolutely not. Guys, I have to live my life, okay? It's a little balance for me. I think that is the lowest carb option. I am sharing with you what has worked for me and what I personally do. Um, I love Skinny Pop. I feel like when I'm doing movie night, it is a great option. You can keep it low carb, maybe not keto, but you can still be low carb. Now, I know some of you are gonna say like, no, absolutely not. I am not doing popcorn, which is fine. There is a little, a little hack, okay? So you can do almonds. And then there is all of the popcorn seasoning. So you can do nacho cheddar, sour cream and onion, maybe even the butter, ranch, white cheddar, any of these. These are actually all zero carbs. Now they might not be the cleanest, but it is an option. You have a zero carb popcorn seasoning and then you can season your almonds and then you can just enjoy it like you would popcorn. That is just an option. But if not, then of course you can use the seasoning to season um, your skinny pop. In terms of almonds, let me actually um, come down here to the nut section because these are all great snacks. Now, yes, we have almonds, which of course are like, you know, super basic and sure, but like, look at all of these here. Now we have an elote, the Mexican street corn. I still have not tried that. Korean barbecue. You even have some blueberry. Now, wait a minute, guys, if you want to be suffering, <laughs> Then they even have these extreme ghost pepper. Like what? That e that doesn't even sound right. That sounds so scary. I feel like it's just fun. Like they have a lot of really fun flavors. They are low carb, also keto friendly. And then on top of that, we just have, you know, macadamia nuts, which are really high in fats. Now macadamia nuts are probably one of the lowest, besides like a pilly nut, it is um, one of the lowest nuts, super high in healthy fats, which will help keep you satiated, but are so delicious. Like I love them. So you don't want to go with the chocolate covered ones because of course those will have sugar, but they have like the garlic and onion, just some sea salt, just a great, great snack to have on the go. 
these are all just great on the on the go snacks that's what i love about walmart it's like they don't give you as much as like costco right because costco's like super super bulk but you still get like a good amount of like value i feel but so far nuts are just such a great snack and they clearly have like an entire aisle dedicated to nuts now beef jerky love it because it is full of protein now the only thing i will say is that you want to look at labels because this is a clean brand i actually love their jerky but um, this has six carbs because it does have four grams of added sugar but that is where reading the label comes in handy because here these are the little minis same brand but this has zero sugar so it definitely pays off to read the labels because this looks very very similar it's even the same brand but this one here contains four grams of sugar whereas this one is zero sugar so that's just something to always keep in mind when you're you know out shopping it can look the same but it definitely pays off to just turn it around take a look oh zero carbs perfect let's go but all of these are you know see six grams of sugar so so it's definitely definitely when it comes to jerky you don't want to trust the packaging you want to turn it around take a look at the sugar content because some of them can be as high as like 12 grams of sugar which is crazy but that's more for like maple for teriyaki for stuff like that but um, again read your labels and beef jerky is a great 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 option for snacking all right so i'm out here searching like what else do they have in here that is zero sugar or just low in carbs so we have the hershey syrup that is zero sugar this is definitely not a clean product but if you are just looking for a low sugar low carb chocolate syrup whether it's for your ice cream to make some chocolate milk to top your yogurt whatever it is they do have one and we have fruit so these little fruit cups i'm like literally blown away that they're even low carb now if you're trying to stay super strict keto this probably might have a little bit too many carbs but this has five six and six which i'm like okay five and six i'm like if you are craving fruit and you just want a little something i'm like i'm down for it um, and then you have the little mixed cherry cup, which was my favorite growing up. And then just like a little mixed fruit and diced peaches. This has five, six, and seven. So not 100% keto, not 100% clean, but low carb. Now, if you're looking for low carb brownies or a low carb chocolate cake, I got you covered right here. These are little mug cakes. They are five net carbs, 10 grams of protein. I mean... Yes, please, if you can have a little yummy snack that actually has a good amount of protein, that is low in carbs. It's actually not bad for a whole little cake. And the fact that it's gluten-free makes it all that much better. Okay, now most of us know that you can always find sugar-free Jello at the grocery store. So obviously Walmart is no different, but I did find some pretty cool flavors that I haven't seen before. So this is the banana cream. Now, of course, guys, these are not clean, okay? Far from clean. But again, if you're just looking for a low carb option or keto option, this is the pistachio flavor. And then even this white chocolate. I'm like, okay, I've never tried any of these. Um, I personally try to stay away from, from these things, but like a banana cream, I wonder if this would be good to make like the banana pudding. Cause guys, Magnolia has, has my heart. Like whenever I'm in New York City, I am definitely going to Magnolia Bakery and I am getting some banana what is it called? Like the banana pudding. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like I'm always getting that when I'm there. But anyway, um, again, not clean, but they do have low carb options for some puddings, jellos um, that have some pretty cool flavors. Okay, wait, what? I have never seen the Starburst sugar-free. There's the cherry flavor and the pink. Guys, I've never seen this anywhere. How cool is this? I mean, I can guarantee that it's probably the most not clean, <laughs> not clean, but again, there are options for the low carb sugar free um, flavors. All right, guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. These are just some of the top finds here at Walmart. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this. I love you guys so much and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.